Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on the art of wall bouncing. Wall bouncing is not just fundamental, but it's one of the cornerstones of apex movement. Mastering it will unlock your potential to become a truly effective movement player. In this tutorial, I will teach you the nuances of eight different types of wall bounces. Some of these wall bounces are well known and others are more obscure and underrated. Knowing these various wall bounce techniques will allow you to be a more creative movement player and will allow you to outsmart your opponent in style. Here are the eight different different ways I'll be teaching you how to wall bounce in this video. Now, let's start off by learning the very first basic wall bounce, the slide jump wall bounce. This was the very first discovered wall bounce, but learning its fundamentals will help us build up to the more advanced wall bounces. To do the very first basic slide jump wall bounce, it's very simple. All you have to do is sprint and then slide towards a wall, and then once you're done sliding, you're gonna jump towards a wall, and your character will automatically start climbing the wall. Once you see the climbing animation, you wanna go ahead and jump off. This will launch you off the wall doing a wall bounce. Using movement abilities like Octane Stem will allow you to bounce further from the wall. You can also slide jump wall bounce on smaller objects, but they require an extra input. When wall bouncing on a small object normally, once you hit the object, it will force you into a mantle, stopping you from transferring your momentum into a wall bounce. To avoid this from happening, when you are jumping towards the object, you must hold left or right. This will force your character to climb to the left and right instead, allowing you to avoid the mantle and do a wall bounce. This one may take extra practice. Try practicing on these small objects in the firing range. Up next, we're gonna learn a different type of wall bounce called a fatigue wall bounce. This is a wall bounce that uses a fatigue dump to instantly wall bounce. In order to do a fatigue wall bounce, you need to be in a fatigue state. When you jump normally, you jump at this height. If you jump again about within a three second window, you will get a fatigue jump. A fatigue jump is almost half the height of a regular jump. While in this fatigue state, your jump arc is much smaller, allowing you to climb the wall and wall bounce faster. To do a fatigue wall bounce, you must first put yourself in a fatigue state, and then you need to jump towards the wall. Once you attach to the wall, immediately jump again and get the wall bounce off. Since a wall bounce is considered a jump, you are in a fatigue state again, allowing you to change wall bounces after one after another. Remember that the fatigue lasts of about 3 seconds, allowing you to walk or sprint towards a wall during a fatigue state to still get a fatigue wall bounce. Another useful thing about fatigue wall bounces is you have a lot of air control after doing one. You also have the ability to change the direction of your momentum. You're able to climb the walls to the left and right to change the direction of your wall bounces, making them more or less predictable than normal wall bounces. After the wall bounce, you're able to do an air strafe more tighter than normal, as you can see in these clips. Don't forget you can also fatigue wall bounce on super small objects you wouldn't normally be able to wall bounce on by using the same technique we discussed earlier. Since you're able to attach to walls much sooner in a fatigue state, you can wall bounce on super small objects. To do this, first put yourself in a fatigue state. On your fatigue jump, immediately hold left and right and then jump. This will allow you to wall bounce on a super short object. This timing is kind of tight, so don't get discouraged if you don't get it the first few tries. I will practice this on this box in the firing range. Up next is a super underrated wall bounce called the standing wall bounce. You're able to wall bounce without even sliding or being in a fatigue state. In order to do this type of wall bounce effectively, you need to know some specific rules and nuances to make it happen. To do this type of wall bounce, you need to jump at a wall, and when you attach to the wall, you must be descending from the height of your arc jump. If you attach to the wall at the peak of your height jump, you will not be able to wall bounce after, unless you do something very specific, which I'll discuss later. Therefore, to do a standing wall bounce, jump towards the wall. Once you start descending from your jump arc, attach to the wall, and then jump again to get the wall bounce. And that's how you do a standing wall bounce. Remember to always attach to the wall when descending from your arc jump, as you can see in these clips of me standing next to the wall and still pulling it off. When practicing this type of wall bounce, you may notice that distance is super strict since you have to attach the wall when descending from your arc jump in order to get the wall bounce. You can't be too close or you can't be too far. Well, there's also a way to get the standing wall bounce still if you attach too soon, just it won't be as smooth. When practicing standing wall bounces in the fire range, I notice if you attach to the wall too soon, you can still get the wall bounce after if you allow yourself to fall in your climb a bit before pressing jump. So if you attach to the wall too soon, allow yourself to fall for a bit after the climbing animation 
and then you jump. This allows you to get the standing wall bounce no matter what if you mess up the distance. This is super useful to know so you can get a standing wall bounce no matter what by knowing this rule. I would have practiced this rule in the firing range to get super comfortable with standing wall bounces. Noticing when you attach the wall is key to knowing when to apply the rule or not. Once you have master standing wall bounces, you're able to apply them to another technique called ghost strafe. A ghost strafe is when you slide and you have a window of time to be able to change your direction by walking into the direction you want to go and then jumping. To do a ghost strafe into a wall bounce, you must first sprint, then slide, cancel your slide by standing up, and then walk two steps into the direction you want to go, and then you jump. And then you want to jump again once you attach to the wall. Remember, it's extremely important to attach to the wall when you're descending from your arc jump so you can get the immediate wall bounce after. Using these techniques together will allow you to change your momentum without tap strafing, which is super useful on console. Combining these two techniques allows you to do 180 wall bounce without tap strafing on console. To do the 180 wall bounce, you must first slide, turn your camera into the opposite direction, you want to go, jump and turn your camera towards the wall, and then you wall bounce once you make contact with the wall. If you are too close to the wall, you must follow the rule we discussed before. Make sure to fall slightly before you're jumping off. You can still get a wall bounce, but it's delayed a bit. It's way smoother if you get the timing right and attach the wall when you're descending from your arc jump to get the immediate wall bounce. I would definitely practice this one in the firing range if you want to make your movement way more creative on console. Up next are crouching wall bounces. You can also get a wall bounce from a crouching state. It incorporates some of the rules that we learned from a standing wall bounce. To get a crouching wall bounce, you first get into a crouching position and then you jump and let go of crouch immediately after. While you are jumping, you want to attach to the wall when you're descending from your jump arc, just like standing wall bounces. Once you are attached, you jump immediately off the wall. Just like standing wall bounces, you must attach to the wall after the jump arc. It's much easier than a standing wall bounce since their jump arc is short when crouching. You can incorporate crouching wall bounces in your door fights and also from jumping windows, like you can see in these clips. Next on the list is skip jump wall bounces, which incorporates both standing and crouching wall bounces. To do a skip jump wall bounce, run towards a wall, immediately press crouch, but do not hold it, and press jump immediately after you let go of crouch. This will give you a short hop, allowing you to wall bounce immediately once you make contact with the wall. Crouch and then jump changes the height of your jump arc, allowing you to wall bounce quicker. This technique is super easy to do, and is super useful to get a quick wall bounce when you are running. The margin of error for this technique is huge, rather than a standing wall bounce. This technique is much easier to practice and more reliable. However, you're unable to do this technique after a ghost strafe. The second to last technique that allows you to do a wall bounce is called a U wall bounce. You're able to do this technique when jumping off ledges onto walls. This technique will allow you to jump back to the ledge where you're from to trick your opponent that you fell off. To do this technique, jump off a ledge towards a wall. Once you attach to the wall, fall for a bit and then climb slightly up. Once you climb slightly up, jump one more time giving you a wall bounce. This will allow you to jump back to the platform you were just at. Many opponents get tricked thinking that you fell. The last wall bounce is the one I discussed in my previous video, a coyote wall bounce. You're able to do a wall bounce after a coyote jump. When you fall off a ledge, you have a short window to still jump. This is called a coyote jump. Since the jump arc of a coyote jump is short, you're able to wall bounce immediately once you attach to the wall. To do this, coyote jump next to a wall, attach to the wall, and then immediately jump. There are a variety of other techniques that you can do with this tech, but I discussed it already in my previous video. If you want to learn about it, I will drop the link in the comments and the description. Alright, well that's the 8 different ways that you can wall bounce. Learning and applying all of these types of wall bounces will allow your movement to be way more creative in Apex. Hope you all learned something new. Please drop a like or a sub if it was helpful, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!